this free AI tool gives you a glimpse of the future of AI video creation. Think of it like the Photoshop of AI video. So it's currently free, but you have to sign up for a waitlist. I got access to it over a week ago and I've been testing it out and my mind is blown. Head over to pika.art to sign up. Here are some key features from my testing. So firstly, you can start with just a simple prompt as I've done here. As you can see, the only prompt I gave it was a pink rabbit with an umbrella. And as you can see, this is what it generated. Or you can give it a more complex prompt. Like in this example, I stated cinematic, a leather chair in a study next to a fireplace, warm feeling, comfortable and warm. Now I actually got this prompt from this YouTube video by Theoretically Media. He also has a free guide if you want to learn more about how to use Pika.arts. Once you create a video, you can then even edit this video even further. So in this example, what I did was I clicked on edit and then from here, I clicked on modify region and this now allowed me to choose a region of the video and then I gave it a prompt of man reading a book and this is what it added. So you can actually do this anywhere. So you can choose any region and then give it any prompt that you want to add to your video. In this example, I actually uploaded my own image and then it converted it into a video. So you can even upload your own images or your own video as well. And then you can edit it or use it as a style reference. Another option that you have is you can actually click on expand canvas, which is what I did for this video as well. And then you can choose whether you want it 16 by 9, 9 by 60, 5 by 2, 4 by 5, and 4 by 3 as well. But what I actually chose was 16 by 9, and this was the end result. Then you can actually reprompt it as well. So even if you are not happy with the prompt, if you click on the reprompt button, now you can actually change your prompt. So for example, if you missed out something, you can add it into your prompt and then reprompt it even further. And if you wanted to retry, you can just click on the retry button, and this will do that as well. In this example, I actually got it to create a rabbit sitting on a table with a cup of coffee. And here in this example, I further enhanced it by adding in some zoom features. So that is another option you have. So for example, you will see you have three options here at the bottom. The first one is video options. So if I click on this, now I can change the aspect ratio and I can also change the frames per second. And then the next option is motion control. This is where you can add in pan, a tilt or rotate something, or you can even zoom in or zoom out. And then you also have a strength of motion. And then the last option is parameters. So when you click on parameters, now you will see here you have a negative prompt. So for example, if you don't want it to do something, then you can create a negative prompt and it won't add that into your video. Then you also have a seed and you also have consistency with the text. Now in this example, you will see I added in some zoom and some pad and some tilt as well just to test it out. One thing to also keep in mind here is sometimes when I tested it, it doesn't always work. So just be wary of that. So for example, here I actually asked it to modify a region and I asked it to create a cat looking on from a distance. And this is what it actually gave me. So it doesn't work all of the time, but you can just test it as you want. Now, with that being said, this is still truly amazing. AI is just getting better and better every day. You can actually view the trailer to see what is actually possible. So hit the like button if you found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this.